Okay, go ahead. You got your on and off switch. Turn it on. Hit safety override. Hit the glow plug. Hold it for about 10 seconds. And let go of the glow plug. And you can start holding the uh, safety override. <laughs> Shut it off. You let it run until it builds up the uh, about 400 psi. Uh, we had it and run. And the until psi for the tank can be shown right here. Right here. Tank so that's, pressure. That's the tank pressure. Right now you're at that's 200. Your, yep. And uh, that's your start this pressure. Is your air start. After it comes out of the regulator, the end of the hose. Okay. All right. And uh, hey, this is uh, your. Or you, you want to show down here? You got to your hose. Hook it up to the airplane. That's what holds it in place. All you do is just push it in and it locks in place. Nothing more. Pull, to get it off, just pull it out. Pull it out, okay. Pull. Simple enough. And push. Locks in place. I like that. Okay. You got your uh, radiator in here. That's the radiator. You have a radiator field cap up on top. Get your parking brake right there. On, off. Battery access. That's the battery right there. There it is. Got your uh, oil level uh, stick right there. Pull it out, check the oil every now and then. Uh, every day would be fine. That's the oil for the engine. How about the uh, compressor? Oil for the compressor right here. There you go. And you got to wait about five minutes after you unload it from the truck to start it up just so that the oil can settle in the yep. compressor. Okay. Uh, once you had it running, yeah. here's your uh, filler cup for the fuel, diesel fuel or jet A fuel. Okay. That's your uh, fuel gauge right there. Okay. See that? This is your compressor, drain, hose, drain the water. See? You gotta do that every day and drain the water. Yeah, very, very humid air yeah. here in Houston. This is your tank drain hose. Every day you gotta run that out, let it drain so all the water out. You got this one to do every day, and then you have this one right here. This one right there. All right, it's done. It's done, yeah, it's just blowing air. Once it's done, close it up. Okay. And once you build up your pressure, about 400 psi, what you're looking for. About 400. Uh, right now we got 200 just so we can uh, run it, run a test on it. And basically once you're done with that, make sure your main valve here is open. Okay, that's the first thing. Yeah, make sure so it's right open. Right now it is open. That's the main valve. Okay. This, this one, is your start. This one looks like it's closed. This is your start valve. Once you got, it, you got it all hooked up, you begin to pull on it, very nice. slow. Nice and easy. You can start seeing here the uh, pressure. Once you're done, just close it. Looks good. And that's it. That's it. That's it. Looks good. That's, that's all it takes. It doesn't take that much. Just make sure you got the engine running and let it sit for about two hours so it'll build up pressure. It doesn't start right So what up, you're, you're saying it's about 100 pounds per hour? Somewhat like that, Something yeah. like that? Yeah. The, the fill rate on the... Uh, yeah. Compress. Okay. So you got 200 right now. 
about two hours to get to 400. 400 yeah, yeah. Okay. Any questions, call Omega. We 